Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to convert a DVD into an MP4 digital format. So even when your DVD player doesn't work, you will still have your precious videos ready to be played on your computers or smartphones. Okay, without further delay, let's get started. First, find the link to Video Prop Converter in the description below. Head over to this page to download and install it. Once you're done, open Video Prop Converter. And from the welcome screen here, select DVD, which is right here. And then you load your DVD into the drive. It should be noted that Video Proc can handle pretty much every DVD that you can throw at it, except for DVD Plus R. Once your DVD is loaded, the next thing you need to do is to click on disk option right here at the top menu. This will cause Video Pro Converter to find the inserted disk. As you can see right here, it automatically detects my DVD. So you just make sure that you leave Auto Detect option here on by ticking on it. And then you click Done. Now after your DVD has been added to Video Pro Converter app, the next thing you need to do is click on Target Format here. And under General Profiles, the top of the list, you select the first option, which is MP4 Video and then you press on done and now as you can see it select mp4 with h264 codec the next thing you may want to do is click on the word edit here once you click on the edit button it gives you the ability to cut or trim the video you can also crop it put subtitles on it or rotate the video or add watermark to it or make any other changes that you desire once you're done you press on done here the next thing you may want to do is merging your titles. If your DVD has more than one titles, you select all of those titles and click on merge here to merge all the titles into one single video. But in my case, I only have one title, so I don't have to do that. And for chapter as well, if you want all of these chapters to be combined into one single video, you leave it like that. It automatically selects to merge them all together for you. But in case you don't want, let's say, chapter 1, 2, and 5 to be a part of your video, you can just untick it, then it will remove from the video. Next, if you want to rename your video, instead of saying my DVD, you want to rename it, click on rename button here. So you may want to replace these two here. So the output name, let's say my animals. And the title as well that will be shown in any video players like iTunes or other video player app. So I just type exactly the same, my animals. And then I click on done. And now you can see that the name has been changed. Next, if you want to make changes to the resolution of the video, you move your cursor down here to the selected format, which is in this case MP4. Double click on it, you will see this profile setting. So if you want the video quality to be high quality video, you may want to move this to slow, like so. It will convert more slowly, of course, but the quality of the video is at high quality. That is something I would recommend you to do. For video codec options, I would recommend you to leave the video codec, frame rate, resolution, and aspect ratio to be original. You don't have to change anything to it unless you want a different resolution, then you may want to change this one to select the desired resolution you want. But if you don't have any specific device to play on, it's recommended to just keep it original. And again, everything else will be left original like that. You don't have to do anything to it. But again, if you want to make changes to it to the way you want, this is the place to make changes. Once everything is ready, you click on done. Now you're almost ready to export or convert your DVD. There is just one more stage to go. We'll take a look at hardware acceleration engine, which is right here on the right side. I would recommend you to tick on this one, use high quality engine. This is to ensure that after the conversion, the video is in high quality mode. And also, in my case here, it also tick my processor. It means that I have a supported processor to help the conversion process faster. And in your case, the same if you have a supported processor, it will tick this as well. Once everything is ready, you click on run. So I'll put my timer to show you how much time I spend exporting this but it's worth every minute of it so let's just wait for it to complete the conversion process now it's done right here let's play to see how it works
as you can see it works perfectly fine in addition to this if you are using windows version of video pro converter they have also included ai features one of which is called super resolution which make use of ai technology to upscale or enhance the video quality up to 4k and the images up to 8k or 10k as can be seen from these videos here the before and after using super resolution feature this is really great for upgrading your dvds and old memories videos and pictures that's all for today this is how you can convert your dvds to mp4 quickly and easily with video prop converter thank you so much for watching if you love what we do please give us a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to the channel to help us grow have a great day guys see you in the next video